Hi, it's Simon. Welcome back to Better Creating. Now, I have some news, Notion news. In fact, it's two exciting new Notion productivity developments to talk to you about. First, this video is a tour of my updated Notion setup template, a simplified Notion version two. It's become a smaller version of my complete Notion Life OS template and is now available to download. There are a ton of new features from new project progress reports, brand new habit tracker and a daily log solution and a simplified approach to managing your to-do lists and projects in Notion. But perhaps most exciting is news item number two. I'm working on a complete Notion build along series that I want to hear your suggestions and requests for. Here's the plan. My currently named Notion from scratch build series will give you a structured set of step-by-step -step Notion build tutorials you can either use as individual sessions to add to your own Notion setup or follow along as a complete course to create your personalized life OS with me whilst learning the fundamentals of Notion as you go. I'll be building everything that's in the workspace we're going to tour in a moment plus some brand new approaches to weekly planning, habit tracking and knowledge management resulting in some Notion solutions that are both powerful and easy to use. I'm also going to look at integrating the power method into the setup. Well, are you intrigued? Please take a moment to sign up to the dedicated mailing list in the description to hear more. Subscribe here too, if you haven't, with those notifications and watch to the end of this video for my plans for the project and how you can get involved by leaving me your ideas of what's covered and what should be included. Okay, let's get a taste of what's to come with a tour of this simplified Notion Life OS. So this setup build was originally inspired by the idea of recreating the simplicity of a paper planner within the benefits of a digital platform like Notion. You can watch the original video uh, via the links below and probably up here somewhere to learn more about the ideas behind using Notion as an analog planner. But I've expanded this 2022 version to include a ton of new features uh, that you'll find in my larger templates. So there's now a goal setting template, a stoic journal and daily log, an improved habit tracker, but most significantly is the option to manage tasks in different ways. So either using a simple weekly view with day tags or a full date-based calendar system. More on that in a bit. And if you want to download this template, you can via the links below. And if you are an existing user of the original version of this template, I've just sent out an email with a way to get the full price of the original discounted off this bigger version. So look out for that. And if you can't find it in the next couple of days, just email me with proof of download and I'll send it on. So this is the home dashboard. Some big developments here, notably making use of these exciting reporting views and progress reports. It's been great integrating these recent Notion features into my setup. And I love the new icon sets that can be color coordinated for a clean look and the way that we can also now set a default database page template so that every time you click new anywhere on a database, it will look a certain way, really cool. I've created a main menu that keeps all the key databases and pages in here. And what's cool is it means that everything is self-contained if you do that within that main homepage dashboard means that your sidebar is kept nice and clean and it can all be just managed from within the system. A full guide to help you guys learn how to use this template. Now, just like my more complex complete system, this system is based around a process I think all good organization systems can benefit from. That is one, visualizing goals and outcomes, then two, quickly capturing or tracking ideas, tasks and habits, actioning your weekly schedule and to-do lists, and then maintaining and monitoring projects. And progress. Let's tour it from number one, visualize. Over here, I've integrated my prompted yearly review and goal setting template that guides you through reflecting on the previous year and then setting up useful and inspiring goals to work towards before finally ensuring you put the right steps in place to reach them by reverse engineering the milestones, projects and habits you need to hit in order to get there. So you can watch this year's goal setting guide video via the links to learn and follow a full breakdown of this process if that's gonna be helpful to you and you wanna do a bit of goal setting. But this section essentially works with a series of simple databases and a pre-filled template button. I can review the year in the review section, enter lessons learned, and then generate a new year template 
and input the big goals I want to hit based on this visualized section. Now, finally, I can move down to the actioning section to add, plan, and review all the projects, habits, and milestones I'll need to complete in order to reach the goals. It's a way, essentially, of reverse engineering your daily actions so that you know they will be useful. And I'm particularly enjoying this actioning dashboard view that uses tabs for each stage of the process, linking to the different databases. So my new look habit tracker for one is a really cool part of the system. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the capture section. Capture covers capturing tasks as they come up, tracking your habits, and logging progress and journal entries in a daily log. Now that Notion allows us to create linked database views referencing multiple database sources, I've been able to make a super simple inbox view where tasks, habits, and journal entries can be all captured in one place on the home screen. I love the habit tracker, particularly because of the native progress bar option that Notion added recently to the system. Using a gallery view, we can create great visual reports, particularly by using CONCAT formulas to produce these reports on progress that automatically update each time you log something. I think that's a really big deal now in Notion and something I'll be showing you more about how to do in forthcoming build videos. So a sub to the channel would be wonderful. New to this template is also an integrated daily log and journal. This is a developed version of my prompted stoic journal template that has a range of prompted pages that help us do a range of things from reflecting and journaling tasks with a focus on productivity, uh, making progress through the year, mindfulness, self-development, that kind of stuff. Now this time though, I've made it a full on daily log so that as a very minimum, we can use it to track our progress through the year, see monthly reviews and you simply add a new entry, pick a template page, fill it out for the day, linking any habits that have been completed to it as well. Now, the obvious thing to add to your capture system would be a place for gathering links, resources, and notes. I call mine a knowledge bank in my personal system. If this is something you would like, you might prefer to look at my other complete Notion tours where I've got a big Notion capture system video as well for how you can combine things like Notion with Readwise and other amazing apps to create a fully automated setup that means you always find and reuse those great ideas you discover. So go check that one out. Steps three and four of your organization process then for me is actioning and maintaining. We're gonna do these two together. And that has to cover the big one, managing your tasks and projects. The biggest development existing users will spot to this setup is I've integrated two ways to manage tasks and projects. This weekly planner board view is based on a simple tagging system so that you simply add tasks from the project to-do list for the week ahead. What's cool about this is that it's not date-based. You just manage it for the week you're on, and drag things around or tick them off as you need. Then next to that, there is a deadline view, which means you can set hard or important deadlines for tasks still and keep an eye on them as you would with your paper planner. However, if you would rather manage your tasks in a more typical digital way in Notion using dates, you can ignore this view and use the date-based system, setting due dates for tasks and seeing them appear in the to-do list for the day that we're on. And there's a date-based weekly board view that is identical to the one in my other templates. The deadlines can still work in the same way, setting yourself dates to do things and then hard dates definitely get them finished by. When it comes to managing and maintaining your projects, I'm super pleased to say that this template now has a reporting view that uses the new status column feature to track the progress of tasks in a project. So it will tell you what's not started, what's in progress, and what's complete. And after many requests, I've included a weekly review function to the project's database so that you're reminded to review the status of each project when you decide you need to so that you can maintain your system. You can see a full video of using this system around tasks, projects, and getting things done in my tasks and projects Notion video. I'll link it in the description if you wanna learn more about all of that. But let's just say, use that system right, and you're likely to never worry about forgetting to do something again. So I hope that's some good Notion inspiration for you. Make sure to go check out my templates over on Gumroad. It would be great to have you in the community. And speaking of community, if you're still here, Let's talk about how you can get involved in my big Notion build along. Here's the idea, whatever you want to call it, a digital second brain, a life operating system, or Zettelkasten, I've started breaking down how to build a comprehensive productivity setup step by step so that you can join that second brain revolution and take your journey into Notion mastery much further. I've also loved the echo of no coders and Notion fans everywhere dropping the phrase 
build in public. And so that's exactly what I want to do with this. My simple request to you, just drop me a comment below with what you'd like to see included in the series. What should we call it for starters? What are the elements of Notion you most want help with? Let me know and guide my plans. My current plan is that in each build video, we'll explore Notion fundamentals across dashboard views, roll-ups and relations, formulas, and even automation integrations, all whilst creating a usable and meaningful section of a personal productivity system. Task and project managers, habit trackers, journaling systems, note-taking dashboards, even knowledge capture databases. So the first thing you should do is sign up to the Notion from Scratch mailing list in the description to find out more and get involved, as well as subscribe here and turn on those notifications. You should watch one of these next for more productivity and Notion goodness. And that's it. I'll see you on the next one.